the saving on our energy bill is between 1500 and 2000 a month now since the solar panels have been installed. Thank you. My name's Jackie Lappin. I'm the CEO of Carrington Bowling Club. This community, this suburb is working class. The club itself was built by coal trimmers and wharfies. They're the salt of the earth. Why did you agree to sponsor a paddle for us? Of course, you drove us, man, and we had it. I mean, I've still got two kids that rely pretty heavily on the coal industry. One's a tug master and the other one does the job that I used to do. Yeah, you've got to think the benefits. Like, the benefits are not for me. They're for my kids and my grandkids. Last chance to wrap the tickets, everyone. When I came here 12 years ago, the club was 300 grand in debt. Number 861. A lot of the regulars, they were really passionate about saving their club. Do you have any luck at the raffle no, tonight? not at all. This one won <laughs> too, though. Yeah. You've been such an important part of the solar fundraising here, Laurie. Well worth it, you're worth it. Well, the bingo ladies want to fundraise for the solar because this is our club. Bingo ladies! <laughs> We've got Glenda. Glenda lives in Carrington. <laughs> she does big balls bingo, that's what she calls it, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. As a chef that worked on a coal ship, I never thought that I'd see the day that we were fundraising for the solar. I think it was about $330 a panel, and then the trivia group ended up sponsoring, I think, about eight panels. My ukulele, when I told them about it, they just used to put the tin around every Saturday, and they ended up buying about six panels. The Colouring In ladies bought a panel, the Bingo ladies bought a panel. My yoga women, they put the money in and bought a panel. The bowlers bought a panel. So I just kept running with the idea because it was a bit of a no-brainer for people. We've seen so many bowling clubs disappear in Newcastle. Climate Action Newcastle, we've been focusing on bowling clubs because they're genuine community spaces. I'm a member of the club, but we're also really good friends with Jackie. And she was like, yes, I'd already been interested in going solar, I just didn't quite know what to do. And so we just gave her some structure and then she just drove it like a truck. Our members raised just on $30,000 towards the solar panels. So it was a rather enormous effort from everyone. Table of knowledge, the table of knowledge, the love of my life just about. They bought a couple of panels. With my wife and we said we'd just buy a panel. I, when I first started coal mining, I thought coal was probably going to be our main source of power. But it's, you know, it's time to progress. It's almost 50 years ago. New technologies have come along. And solar panels, wind, that's going to be the way to go. Well, from where I'm sitting here, you can actually see some ships over there. The coal loaders are over that way. Yes, I think it's a good thing, you know, the, the solar, financially as well as for the environment. We're told are now. Yeah. Carrington's first coal pit. We must be old farts. <laughs> yeah. Newcastle is one of the biggest coal ports in the world. There's a lot of jobs here in the port and in the mines as well. If, if you stop that, what do they do? To a degree, yes. I'm worried about the people who will lose their jobs, but I think they, they can transform to that renewable industry over time. Uh, we are here putting some solar panels up. I, I moved to solar from coal because a friend asked me to come over to help with the business, and, uh, and I was a little bit hesitant because I was a, a lover of coal, and I've never looked back. After doing Carrington, I guess we got into this run. We already knew the Croatian Club. We wanted to help. They looked like they were folding. My name is Nino Jelsic. I am president of Croatian Weekend Sports Club. We volunteer because actually the club is a bit struggling. We do everything with no pay, no nothing, to provide our community sort of some way to come. I'm the honorary secretary. We always say that this is an open club to all the community and all different nationalities. For example, I belong to the Filipino community. And we have been coming here at the Croatian Wickham Sports Club for a number of years now. Uh, the fundraising at the Croatian Club, it was live music orientated, but also a food stall. Nino would cook some Croatian food. They just got the whole crowd going. They go, what do we want? Solar power. What do we want? Solar power. And the whole crowd going, solar power. And you could just see everyone so happy and um, into the idea of going solar. It was just really gorgeous moment. The first thing that I would say is thank you so much. The solar panels are here now. I don't know, words cannot say the happiness that uh, I feel. This project 
will help a lot because of the climate change. We are a very good front runner. You can't really describe how I feel because when I see that, that we grew and that we making progress with this club, that make me really happy. We're always looking for clubs within the local area who have a roof space. And there's much bigger operators around, much bigger clubs. We've created an example where we go, look, if this little community club can do it, what's stopping you? Both of these small clubs are in the heart of coal exports and it's been fantastic that people who've been working in those industries are seeing the benefit of solar. One of the jobs that I had to do was to load the coal actually to the vessels. But you think of your grandkids and what the future holds for them if this temperature keeps on going up. And the only way to stop it is for little initiatives like this, renewables. Oh, the community over here, brilliant, just absolutely lovely. You know, some of the nicest people that you've ever met. After being here for 12 years and getting to know the, the people, at Trivia the other night I said to them, you all feel like family to me. I feel quite passionate about how important it is that this stays here for the community in years to come, well after I'm gone, and hopefully putting all these things in place will make that the case.